Imagine going back in time, over 300 million years ago, long before the era of giant dinosaurs dominated the Earth. You find yourself in a completely different world, a world where giant insects reign supreme. Dragonflies the size of crows and centipedes as long as cars roam the landscape. Welcome to the incredible Carboniferous period. This was a moment of extraordinary transformation in the history of our planet, a time when Earth was undergoing major changes. Large land masses were slowly coming together to form the supercontinent of Pangaea, while vast hot and humid forests dominated the landscape. And amidst this fascinating scenery, giant insects were not the only huge creatures roaming the earth. There was also an incredible variety of marine life, including primitive forms of sharks and giant amphibians, which completed this incredible ecosystem. Now, enough talk. Let's travel back in time 300 million years and dive into the Carboniferous era. During the Carboniferous period, what really caught the attention were insect-like creatures, one of the most iconic being the Meganeura, very similar to a modern dragonfly, with a wingspan of up to 75 centimeters hovering in the air. And it wasn't just the insects that surprised. The land also harbored impressive creatures, such as the Arthropleura, a monstrous millipede that could grow up to two and a half meters long. It was a world where size really mattered, and these giant creatures reigned supreme. But how did these insects become so large? I'll answer that question shortly. Another frightening insect was the Pulmonoscorpius, a giant scorpion that roamed the dampest areas of the earth. They could reach up to 70 centimeters in length. And let's not forget the giant cockroaches, which grew up to 10 centimeters long, and flies with wings measuring up to 45 centimeters in span. So, it's safe to say that you'll have to be very careful when walking around in this period. But why did these insects become so large during the Carboniferous period? The answer is directly linked to the levels of oxygen in the atmosphere. Imagine yourself breathing air loaded with 35% oxygen, much more than the 21% we breathe today. This oxygen-rich atmosphere was like fuel for the insects' growth, allowing them to reach gigantic sizes that would never be possible in today's days. But wait, there's more than just oxygen in this intriguing story. Another theory suggests that insects were forced to grow so much due to the presence of oxygen-related toxins in their bodies. Yes, you heard that right. The same oxygen that allowed their enormous growth also posed a threat to their survival. How so? Well, the excess oxygen could create free radicals, unstable molecules that could damage cells and even the insect's DNA. To avoid this toxicity, insects needed to grow to reduce their oxygen absorption rate, essentially becoming giants to survive. Therefore, the gigantism of insects during the Carboniferous period was not just a curious phenomenon, but rather an incredible adaptation to the extremely challenging environment in which they lived. As the Carboniferous period progressed, Earth underwent dramatic climatic changes that would completely transform the environment where giant insects lived. The hot and humid temperatures that sustained the swampy forests began to give way to a colder and drier climate, where ice sheets began to form, especially in the southern hemisphere. But why did this abrupt change occur? The answer lies in the movement of land masses that began to come together to form the supercontinent of Pangaea. This massive movement not only altered the landscape, but also affected ocean currents, wind patterns, and global climate. The tropical forests, which once dominated the landscape, began to collapse as the climate became drier and less hospitable. As the climate cooled and tropical forests disappeared, oxygen levels in the atmosphere also began to decrease, posing a significant challenge for giant insects that depended on these elevated levels to survive. Without the necessary oxygen to sustain their gigantic sizes, these creatures began to gradually disappear, leaving behind a world in constant change. While tropical forests declined and oxygen levels decreased, new forms of life began to emerge, setting the stage for the next chapter in Earth's history. This was a time of transition and transformation, where the ancient world of giant insects slowly gave way to a new era of life and diversity. Exiting the Carboniferous period, we'll enter the Permian period. If you stay a few million more years, we will enter the Mesozoic era, also known as the Age of Dinosaurs. An exciting era full of mystery, where gigantic and fierce creatures roamed the Earth, leaving their indelible mark on the history of our planet. But what about the Permian and the Mesozoic era? Well, that story will be told in another video. In this video, we explore the Carboniferous period, where giant insects dominated a challenging environment driven by high levels of oxygen in the atmosphere. I thank everyone who has followed along so far. Please leave your comments, click like, consider subscribing to our channel, and watch other videos. I've also created a playlist with several videos, feel free to watch them. Without further ado, thank you all and until the next video.